Hey nerds, Amy here, and today we are going to learn how to password protect a sheet in Excel. We're going to start with the basics, then we're going to add a layer, and then I'm going to show you a super little nerdy trick to help you streamline this whole process, and it can also be used in other aspects of Excel. So all right, let's nerd out. First off, we are going to protect this whole sheet from anybody making any changes. Now this is great if you have charts or pivot tables, data analysis, things that you have likely spent a lot of time on and you don't want anyone touching. So we are going to head on up to the review tab and click protect sheet. And I'm just going to give it a basic password of one, two, three. You will also notice down below here that uh, this is just some customization of what users are going to be allowed to do when the sheet is protected. So I'm going to stick to these defaults and we are going to press OK. We just need to quickly confirm that password again. And there we go. So now if I click in a cell and try to make a change, it gets a warning and perfect. Nobody is going to mess with my document. Then to unprotect the sheet, we simply just go one, two, three. And then voila, we are now able to make a change. That is a basic introduction. Now we want to protect the whole sheet except for this cell right here. This document is one that I created in another video and it just allows employees at Amy's Animal Barn and Petco to select a reservation for our dog boarding resort. And then it just returns the payment amounts for that reservation that we have received. So you will see that I've got some complex formulas in there and we really just don't want any staff to um, mess those up. And we just want them to be able to select the reservation number. So what we are going to do is we need to format this cell and we can head on down to format cells. Alternatively, we can just go control one. Uh, I am already on the protection tab here, and you are going to notice that this cell is locked. Now, by default, all cells in Excel are formatted to be locked. And then when we protect the sheet, like we just did, then that basically kicks that locked formatting into action. But when the sheet is not protected, this doesn't really play a role. What we are going to do is we are going to untick that little box right there and click OK. Now, if we head on up to protect sheet, I'm going to one, two, three, one, two, three. And here we will see that there you go. Voila, we can now select the reservation number and these cells with those formulas cannot be touched. So perfect that is a simple example of how to um, keep one cell unlocked while protecting the rest of the sheet uh, now we're going to dive into the juicy stuff and if you are enjoying this video then please remember to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so down here i have an, an advanced sheet and you will notice that we have some more cells that are yellow and so these are the ones that we want employees to be able to edit now i could simply click in here and press control and select all of these yellow cells however some of our excel documents are going to be massive and there's going to be a ton of cells that we would need to select and it's just going to be inefficient and um, not a good use of our time so this is where the juicy stuff really starts to happen. So what we are going to do is we are going to go control F and then we are going to head on over to format. Now, if we go to fill, we can select the color of the cell that we want to make a change to. So in this example, it is that bright yellow color. So we can click OK. And now if we select find all, then this is where all of these cells are going to show. So I'm going to press control A, and now you'll see that all of these yellow cells have highlighted on this sheet. So I'm going to hold the control button down to keep all of these cells selected. 
we are going to head out of here and I'm just going to deselect that cell by clicking on it because I want to keep that cell locked. So now what we can do is still holding control and we can just simply press one. And then now we can head on over to protection and we can deselect locked. See what just happened there? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. All right, so now we can click okay and you guessed it, we are going to pop up here, enter our password, and now we can edit those cells, but we can't edit that cell or any other cell except for these yellow ones that we have just formatted. Amazing, right? All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. We'll see you again.